In this video, we will review basic installation guidelines for the aluminum clad window. At this time, you should ensure the rough openings are square and your rough sills are level. With the window on sawhorses, you can easily remove the shipping skids located on the bottom of the window. It is important to note there are leveling blocks that are permanent and not meant to be removed. Many of the windows have the bottom weather fin temporarily attached to one of the jams. Remove it and install into the kerf on the bottom of the window using a wooden block to seat it properly in the aluminum extrusion. The rough sill can have a half by six clapboard installed to establish pitch to the exterior. Making an effective sill pan is easily done using products such as FlexWrap from DuPont over the half by six clapboard. Go around the three sides of the opening with a bead of caulking that the back side of the weather fin will bed into. Be sure to continue the caulk joint around the lower corners. Do not go across the sill. This will allow any moisture or water to later escape if necessary. Place the window in the opening, ensuring that the back side of the weather fin is making positive contact with the previously applied bead of caulking. Shimming begins at the sill. Okay, the right side. Needs to go up a good quarter. It's good there. A few roofing nails can be tacked in, but not driven home, to hold the window in place while it is being shimmed and leveled. Next, use shim packs three to six inches up the jam, at the center point, and three to six inches from the head to ensure the window is plumb, level, and square. Self-tapping trim head screws are ideal for securing the window through the jams, shim packs, and into the jack studs. Note the consistent reveal of 3 16 between the sash and the window jam as viewed from the interior. Once the window is plumb, level, and square, you can finish nailing off the weather fin with roofing nails. The window comes with self-adhesive pads that go over the corners of the weather fin. Apply the vertical pieces first and hold the window side edge of the flashing an eighth to a quarter inch overlapping the aluminum jam. Next, the head flashing is installed over the factory supplied drip cap. Now you are ready to insulate around the interior of the window using a low expanding foam. You now have a well-installed and insulated LePage window.